Hello, hello, hello. I am the Black Shadow, and welcome to the closing stages. Finally, let's play Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions Blind. Good news, I've mentioned, and the game decides to, you know, not re-show the uh, opening tutorial. Uh, the work that I've had put in uh, between uh, this video and the last has been done. Uh, it's been a pretty busy week, though, last week. Luckily, however, uh, I've got quite a bit of time uh, to myself at home this week, which I've put aside, so that I can get this series put towards an end. Uh, and, uh, yeah, as you can see here, come up to 99 hours plus in the game. We are going to hit the 100 mark before all is said and done, which is kind of crazy. And so last time, after, uh, you know, all our business being done over at the, uh, the, well, the, uh, Bringing, not the Bringers Den, uh, Milan here in the church. Uh, we have pursued uh, the Knights Temperate back to the Auburn Monastery, uh, where they are seeking to open uh, some kind of uh, unholy seal uh, using the scriptures which they've now got off of us. Now, I did do a little bit of investigating off screen um, because I was suspicious, and it turned out that my suspicions were true. This is the point of no return for Final Fantasy Tactics. Once we get into the Auburn Monastery, uh, we will apparently endeavour onto a series of consecutive fights that will lead to the end of the game. Um, and as such, if there's any business that we want to attend to beforehand, we can need to do it now. Uh, and so I uh, did a quick bit of digging around just to see what exactly is still left for us to do in this game. And it turns out we've actually already done almost everything in the game, uh, which is quite... Quite impressive, actually. Uh, we have found quite a lot of the uh, sort of semi sort of optional characters we've got, you know, including Meliodor, uh, the business with Race and uh, Beowulf here, getting Construct 8. Uh, of course, getting Cloud. You can see Cloud here, level 46. Uh, plenty of work was put into uh, Cloud. He is now looking at really damn nice as well. And he has learned a significant portion of his limit breaks as well. He's even picked up Omni Slash, uh, which I have not yet managed to use. Uh, his most impressive one apparently is this one here, Cherry Blossom. But uh, we don't have access to that at the moment. And he may not get access to that by the time this series is finished. But that's okay with me. Also interesting to note, uh, something that I'm uh, using that happened while I was doing uh, some business here. Uh, it turns out that what, uh, I was doing some work with Reese. I want to get some Reese, um, some, some uh, showtime in the series as well. Uh, the, her class um, has the ability to tame uh, monsters that are weakened. And as such, what ended up happening was there was the end of the fight, and like she uh, wounded a monster uh, to the point of death. It was the last one of the, of the level, and it got tamed. And it is now part of our party. Campe the Minotaur. Or Camp, I suppose it should be. Uh, so... There you go, folks. There you go. He may not be with us for very long, but uh, it was amusing nonetheless. So, um, yeah, so all most of the main side characters and that sort of stuff, there are only two things that have not been dealt with in this series yet, and I suppose it'd be nice to kind of do both of those before we bring it to an end. One of which is we very short, which is the subject of today's video, and then the other one is the game's optional super dungeon, as you know, pretty much every Final Fantasy game has hiding somewhere or another it's a lovely fancy super dungeon come here there's lots of nasty enemies and then take on a super boss whether i'll do that before or after taking on the uh the end of the game i haven't decided yet i i have not decided yet. i've got time to record this video at the moment then in a couple of days i'll be able to record probably the rest of the series so we'll see how um, and also a comment as well, someone has been watching back from the start of the series and has slated me for not picking up uh, the two knights at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, it was kind of dumb. Anyway, so in order to actually trigger this first side thing that we haven't done yet, amazingly, we haven't actually come across it yet. Uh, we've been incredibly close to triggering it and, you know, I'm amazed we didn't. So uh, let me just uh, put a C stick down here. So these are the steps you need to take. Once you uh, get through the situation and you get uh, Meliodor on your side. So once we go through the events over at um, at Limbury Castle, if memory serves me correctly. That's what you got to do. Now, you remember back here at uh, Golland here. We've uh, we've spent... And the game just get there. Thank you. Now, we came across when I was doing a lot of rumour hunting uh, this a while ago. Uh, the Rash of Thefts. We saw this ages ago. 
uh, about how there are uh, thefts going on, uh, leading the Church of Globalos uh, to conclude the crimes of work of the heretics or other enemies of the Church. Uh, anticipating further incidents, it has warned its members to exercise particular vigilance. Now that's all well and good. This sets off a series of a couple of rumours we need to hunt. And by a couple, I actually mean basically one more. A little bit like uh, what we did um, going between uh, Golland um, and then heading up to Lasalia uh, to hunt the, uh, the stuff with Race and Beowulf. This is much the same thing. So uh, there's no clues to where this would be, but if we now make our way back to the city of Daughter and check that tavern, we'll find this. A call for guards. The city of Bavenia has donated a treasure known as the Wailing Ort to the city of Dorta, and a merchant has been commissioned to make the delivery. However, rumours of bandits on the trade routes have him too frightened to make the journey. He seeks guards with strong sword arms to protect him along the way. This seems uh, reasonable enough. So uh, this is what we are looking for here, a extra rumour, which will only crop up once you look, check out the first one, as far as I can tell. So, well, what do we do now? Well, all you need to do is just choose to move any spot. It doesn't matter. And we get into combat. Only four positions available for this one, but that's, that's fine. All right, then. I tell you what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to actually show off um, our couple of characters that have had some experience in particular. Uh, we're going to have uh, Reese here. Uh, we are going to bring in Mr. Cloud for sure. It's kind of fitting that Cloud's going to be in this because I know exactly what's about to happen. And who could do with a bit of experience? Uh, Catherine, sure. Two samurais. There's not much healing in this one, but we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We're a bit over leveled for this, unfortunately. And I wish I'd done this a bit sooner. And no, if I'd known about it sooner, I would have long since done this sooner. Because this is pretty fucking awesome. A godless thief with designs upon the church vaults. Could it be he seeks the stones? The road to the Orosite is barred by Templar swords. But it is the same road that leads to Alma. I will walk whatever road I must to see you free. Uh oh. Even if it means walking headlong into a trap. Yeah. There is combat. What the hell? Wait, a monk with a sword? He took the bait. I told you he would. We've caught the wrong man. This one's not the thief. But he's still a heretic. I'm already smiling. What? Already smiling. Your mistakes were twofold, I'm afraid. You sprung your trap without looking to see if the game you hunted was the one you snared. And you sold me short. I'm no thief. I'm a sky pirate. <laughs> it's him! Now that we've dispensed with the pleasantries, tell me where I'll find the cache of Globados. The cache of Globados? Two heretics instead of one. Rum luck, I say. We'll claim the bounty for them both. Oh, you'll have your reward for finding me. And don't think about running off without collecting. My shot is faster. Oh, well, my name's not Balthier. Straight out of Final Fantasy XII. Balthier the Sky Pirate. If you've never played Final Fantasy XII... He's great. That's, that's all that needs to be said, folks. He's fucking great. <laughs> so that goes into this combat situation against these uh, rogues and vagabonds. They've numbers and nothing else. Perhaps a brief alliance is in order. I, I can get behind this. One hand washes the other. He will certainly not object. So yeah. Second character that is a PSP exclusive. The first being Cloud. The second is Balfier. Now, as you will see as we get into uh, this uh, situation here, into the fighting in the Daughter Slums, 
were a bit overleveled for this, as you can see here, but that should be fine. Luckily, you notice it's defeat all enemies, not protect uh, Balthier here. I love how Sky Pirate is its own freaking class as well. That's pretty sweet. Free from all laws and obligations. Never lets a mark escape. Safeguard. I believe that means uh, items can't be destroyed on I mean, it. That's pretty nice. He's got uh, the piracy command here. Uh, so he's kind of like, uh, effectively, like a, 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 I guess, like a mix between a thief and probably like Mustadio's class of it. He's got the the Raul's Algelfi, um, uh, Algethi. Cool little gun here, as well as a few bits of Mirage Vest. I don't know if I've actually seen that in this game. Anyway, shall we uh, get some business here? Right then, so Reese unfortunately doesn't have the most movement. Now, I have got her with um, some uh, boots that assist her with extra movement, uh, which is very nice. Um, but unfortunately, she's still not the most mobile and doesn't have the most uh, range in her attacks either, which is a bit of a problem. Not much I can do about that, folks. It is what it is. That is some movement. That's pretty impressive. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, they might not be the highest level characters compared to my party, but I suppose if they're going to tempt my party into uh, into joining them, then that kind of gets around this whole problem, doesn't it? Oh, shit. I love it the white mage here uses a potion on herself and not, you know, white magic. Never mind. Ramza, go get that scumbag. Good camera and good choice as well. Actually, counter attack. Wow. We won't get any experience from this fight here. Oh, this is going to be so bad. I don't know what she's doing. That must be some white magic she's using there. The art. Wait, wait, what? What? Wait a minute. Has the has the archer got a sword? What the hell? He's got a crossbow. Yeah, he just physically hit me. How strange. How bizarre that is. Now, do bear in mind, their, uh, their units will gain experience really quick because uh, they're under level. Uh, so they will gain experience very fast here. Meanwhile, Catherine is consuming my frames. Not amused. Balfia, please do me a favor and kill that white mage. Thank you. Put her down. Right, okay. That puts uh, that trouble out of the way. Belfia, even on his own, not in a terrible state to uh, defend himself. He took a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, an archer with a diamond sword and shield. Weird. Well, whatever. So, uh, so um, starts off here with Reach. She has access to the same three uh, breath commands. Uh, that she did as in a dragon. Uh, she can also get a holy breath as well. I believe that's one of the last uh, abilities. I should have shown that off. As well as a variety of stat boosting abilities as well. You see dragons might there to basically increase bravery and I think something else. Something like that. Your turn three. Your turn eight. I would much rather attempt to kill Now, fortunately, the uh, real late uh, abilities take some charging, like Omni Slash here, but that's okay. That's okay. Now, uh, do note that, yeah, Meteor Rain has an area of effect attack. Hopefully, that's not going to... I hope that's not going to attack, Reese. We'll find out shortly. Ow! Well, if we're doing the right thing and just sort of staying out of trouble here. He is doing a lot of damage, everyone. He is doing a lot of damage. Here comes Gerald. It's going to be after Cloud here, of course. Oh, shit. Thanks. Didn't show uh, Cloud's over. His, uh, yeah, his, um, he's got a uh, counter tackle. We'll picked up some, uh, some half decent stuff. Here we, we should be fine this time. If we were to lose this, I'd be pretty shocked. Although this problem with Catherine is a bit awkward. I don't know where she's going. Oh, she's trying to bring him back to life. I suppose that's a thing. Here comes Meteor Rain. Bonk. 
Oh shit, it's hit Reese. Oh, it's hit Catherine as well. I could have gone better. I got an absolute bucket ton of job points. He has got uh, JP boost on automatically in the hopes that I can get some decent stats for him. That'd be nice. Uh, Reese actually does not have the worst physical attack in the world. It's not terrible, but uh, I might as well stick to um, the uh, breath where possible. My friends. I probably should have just physically hit you. Oh, he blocked it anyway. Well, thanks, game. I appreciate that. It comes Rays. I think it's about 50-50. I think I saw. Thankfully, it missed. Very good. Mansell, the alleged archer here. Continuing his war. Gaining his level. Colson will run away here. Yeah, Bolfia should be able to just deal with those two when he gets his next couple of turns. Just annihilate them. I know we don't use uh, guns that much at the moment in this uh, series. Uh, you know, outside of, like our orator. And of course, uh, Mustardio has been on the bench for uh, some significant period of time. So. Uh, cross Slash. Um, it goes in one place. We've got Clean Hazard as well. Uh, which is a, uh, you see, it's a skill consequent to the damage it's already suffered, so it's like a revenge attack. It's really nice. Uh, we'll just go for some cross slashing here. That sounds good. Cross slash notice will attack uh, to the size as well within the same um, same uh, length, uh, width, height, whatever you want to call it, which is pretty neat. Lovely. Stop killing my friend. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I've noticed with uh, his stuff. Uh, they've got a variety of cool little skills and features. Require a bit of, I suppose, experience and knowledge to use well. That can be pretty damn nice. But I think something like Omni Slash to use that... For the love of... That shit's expensive, you know. Those damn braces. They're like 30 grand a piece, Mr. Gerald. I'd appreciate you stop doing that. I need to do something about it. Oh, yeah, so you've also got this as well. Uh, Amino Murakumo, uh, which is another one of the sword abilities that's at Rampant. Ramza had a little bit of experience off screen. I did a few characters. Uh, sure. Sure. If it will uh, if it'll get her, go for it. Oh, shit. No, I can't reach for some reason or another. Well, piss. Oh, because oh, Catherine's rejoined us. Oh, that, that, right. Did you pick up a new ability? No, you just got Marissa. She may or may not have had that. Okay. Right, let's uh, let's put this one to bed, everyone. For the love of... Oh, yeah, I forgot about... Yes, Risa has two attacks. Totally forgot to make a mention of that. She, uh, she gets to attack twice, which is pretty sweet. They have two experience, but 50 odd job points. Uh, Cloud receives experience so damn far, uh, job points so far, it is pretty insane. That ball fear just annihilating the archer there. That was all kinds of brutal. That is all she wrote. So yeah, I wish I'd known about this sooner. I certainly would have done this sooner. 110%. But alas, it's not to be. That 30,500 guild does not make up for all the shit I lost. Not even remotely. <laughs> what else do you expect, sir? Got branded heretic as well. well. Religion and I don't mix, I'm afraid. Another false lead. Cash of the battle seems uh, interesting, though. Yeah. What is this exactly? Women, treasure. Does a man need a reason to pursue you? <laughs> what? Fuck it, both. If it's what we uh, believe it could be. I think he's thinking... Ramsey is thinking that it must be referring to the aura site. Now, again, this would all make sense if this was done, like, say, five videos ago. 
before we'd gone to Milan and all that massacre gone on, this would make more sense. So teleport yourselves back in time to we've just cleared Limbury, we're going to Egros, and we encounter this on the way to Egros. Just, 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 just picture that. You think you're talking to the leading man never walks in a little danger, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, right so. I found it once, laid my hands on it, and look where it's gotten me. Find it again, I can put things back as they were. And since you seem to know something of it, You've gained yourself another travelling companion. All right. I have some experience in the chaperoning of children. Oh, God, I love this game. I'm no ch Yeah, you just clicked. Yes, they all say that, don't they? And you say you're a sky pirate. Would you have me believe you can fly? I see no wings. Don't worry. We'll find something for you, my friend. And so, Bolfia is joining the party. You better fucking believe we're making room for him. Now, uh, that does mean that we need to remove something. Can be! I don't want to hear any of you now. It's kind of novel I've got you. We luckily have uh, Pythias here, who is another open spot here, so... Number 17 with you, Bolfia. And I shall be making use out of you. So help me God, I will find a use for you. Alright then, very nice. So, let's go and check out his actual abilities here, because I'm actually very curious. So, Sky Pirate. Yes, so we've got uh, Lecture, Arm Shot, and Seal Evil, which are the three commands that Mustadia has. As well as Barrage, which I believe is an attack that is, I think this is actually unique to Bolfi. I don't think anyone else in the game can actually learn this. At least four attacks with the emphasis on speed. Each strike inflicts half the usual damage. That's still double damage on what you'd normally use, though, folks. That's not to be messed with. Although, do note it's a radius of one. So uh, maybe that means you might need to... Oh no, that's... Uh... Oh, the range is the weapons. Oh, that doesn't matter then. I was thinking it's got to be up close. I'm like, what? Uh, he also has the plunder abilities, which is like a... Um, which is basically a mug command. Um, by basically doing damage. Um, as well as the actual ability to... Someone else has a double set, correctly. Plunder Gill, totally free. Really nice. Starts off with leg shot as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and also, uh, yeah, so uh, that is all of that there, folks. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool class. I mean, we'll make use of this. And notice as well, starts with a level 6 monk. Now, why he has level 6 in monk, I have no earthly idea. But he does have Cyclone, Aura Blast, and Shockwave, which I guess is better than a kick of the teeth. Ah. Ah. That would be why he's level 6 in Mark. Neat. It's got Brawler. Okay, I guess. He also has Rend Helm as well, which is... Strange that he has that, but yep, yeah, so, so be it, so be it. I will probably, uh, I'd probably, like, mick him with item usage, which makes sense. The problem is, there's not much time left in this series, the thing, so I don't know if we'll be able to get too much use of it. I could swack him down as a monk, but I don't really see why he'd need any of this, really. I mean, counter, 100 million percent, he's getting counter. Uh, what's it going to be a quick bit counter? Oh, yeah, he's getting that. Um... I mean, I guess it's like if he gets close quarters, then you have some uh, close quarters options, I guess. I guess. Hmm. Well, I'm, what? Uh, oh, my voice totally went there. I do apologize. He's got uh, potions and antidotes. Uh, aim would be good for you, actually. Aim one. 
<laughs> Why the hell not? Have uh, have age. It worked from a stadio. We can make it work. All right. Really, really nice. So there you go. So there is one of those two bits done. Very, very good. Now, as for the second part of this, and that is regarding how to uh, access the super duper spiffy secret area of the game. I'm sure of how to access this area on screen, I suppose. Sorry about that, folks. I just had to quickly check through my notes to make sure I'd got everything down right. So, uh, the second uh, part of this, yes, is getting hold uh, to the Super Dungeon of the game. Now, I don't believe we could actually have access to it until right now. I believe you actually have to clear through Malond here. Basically, the last point of the game before you go to Orbon and go to finish the game, this is, the only, this is now when it actually becomes available to you, which is quite late, but there's Probably a good reason for this. I can only shoot. So, let me do some of the save state here. So, what we're going to do is head back to Garland here. And what we need to do is we need to make our way over to the port city of Wadilis. You guys remember when we came here all that long time ago to flank Lionel Castle from uh, Goog? We went all the way around here. Remember that? Those were interesting times, weren't they? So, we head on down to Goog as it is, anyways. Ibers Rudio. Uh, over to Lionel. Oh, actually, before I do that, hold on a second. No, 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 no. I need to buy some shit. Do you have the shit that I have? You do. Oh, it's 50 grand a piece? Oh, God. I'll buy two. Fine. Uh, do I need any more of this stuff? Probably not. But we're good. Seeing as, you know, all my stuff got broken on Cloud, it was gonna mean I didn't appreciate it. We need to uh, rig some stuff here. We'll give him the bracer. He doesn't need magic. It's fine. Uh, he's kind of, uh, roll, you know, like rolling with cities uh, with uh, the weapon and items. It's all pretty good stuff. Uh, there was someone I was going to check as well, and now my memory's just totally gone that I was going to check here. I think I was going to quickly... Uh, we'll do it at the end of the video. We'll do it at the end of the video. I know what I was going to do. So head on over to Lionel. Here we are. Oh, must be, uh... Oh! Here's another cutscene! We didn't get this. This must be the last little bits for uh, the recent Beowulf uh, uh, storyline. That's pretty neat. I totally didn't even... I totally didn't realize it was even a thing. Ah. Oh. Nah. I'm afraid not. It was Braidmont whose deeds were ill. Those I am not of a mind to pardon. Ah, How sweet. I had best go and see if my help is needed. What? What is going on here? Who the? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> what? I must have totally missed this in my notes. What is going on? But celebrate, celebrate Braidmont bids me to extend his deepest gratitude. Oh, does he now? The girl sleeps peacefully. She'll be safe within the keep of Lionel Castle, where Braidmon awaits her. Fuckers. Alliances change, I'm afraid, Braidwolf. As do loyalties. We've seen plenty of that. You know nothing, Beowulf. This is some enough to make a man forget the beasts. Jeez. Yeah. 
guard your own neck. A head of yours is worth more than most men can even dream of. Son of a bitch. I suppose we have a change of plans, everyone. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Blind, it's off to Lionel Castle. Braidmont?